Lee. We got this. Oh, yeah, well, she had to have our surgery. Um, we're just off to see her now. Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? I'm Ryan as well. Yeah. Hey, listen, where's my manners? Welcome to our dysfunctional families. Oh, thank you. All the best families are dysfunctional. Hey, listen, it was Tracy's wedding we were trying to swerve. I had no idea we were going to miss yours and Daniel's oh, too. Oh, so. no, honestly, it's fine. I was Portsmouth. Oh, it seemed like we were there about five minutes, so we set off early, drove through the night, you know, to try to avoid the M6. Mm. Back right, come on, we should get going. Yeah, yeah, come in. So, if Leanne's well enough, they're going to take her off the ventilator this afternoon. Ah, oh, I'll keep everything crossed. Hey, how was the wedding, anyway? Oh, it was awesome. Not a bag of sugar almonds in sight. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I tell you what, I wouldn't like to be in Steve's shoes. Mind you, I wouldn't like to be in Morocco full stop. Andy said... It's the sickest thing he's ever heard of. Oh, he wants to kill Jim. Good. Because it's a twisted thing to do to somebody you loved. I reckon he still does. He stood by our baby's grave and told me I would still have a future. Look, I know this is the last thing on your mind, but thank goodness you did not stump up for Hannah's treatment. No, Liz. How much? Ten grand. You could have come to bed, you know. Kick me into the spare room. I knew something was going on. I kept trying to block it out, but it just kept niggling away at me. I was numb after Aiden died. Numb to me. Anything but to her. I was all over the shop. I know. I tried to help. I was desperate to help. You shut me out. I was angry at you for not getting on with Aiden. Is that your get out of jail free card? Your dead son? I don't think it would have happened with Liz in any other circumstances. She set her sights at you months ago, way before Aiden died. When you took her to the Chapel of Rest, had you? No. You crucified me that you took her to see Aidan. I had to have a major word with myself. Just go over it, Jenny. Be grateful that he's got a good friend there with him. Stop being such a jealous cow. I'm sorry. When? Come on, paint me a picture. When? The night of the funeral. When you stayed out all night. So you slept with Liz to spite me? Because at the time, I felt no loyalty to you. So you did it to spite me? No. Tell it like it is! All right, a bit. Maybe. Was she all soft and pink and cuddly? This isn't Liz's fault. Oh, oh what a gent. <laughs> and there was me thinking you were going to tell me it meant nothing. It was just some drunken roll in the hay. It wasn't nothing. It was a big deal. Do you love her? Big deal, McDonald. Big Mac. No. I ended it. I chose you. I'm sorry. That's all I've got. Critical, but he's stable. Oh, stable's good. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think they're quietly optimistic. I've got one. Uh, she got through surgery. No, it's just a case of waiting to see. Yeah. You can do mine if you want. You did everything that you could. You know that? Yeah. Having to watch Ron and pull that post out, I've... I just can't imagine. Yeah, well, you're pretty gruesome. You wouldn't listen to reason. I told him straight, if you pull the post out, you're gonna beat to death. Horrendous. Yeah, well, his choice. <laughs> Simon, Pine, then you're probably way too cool for a hug, aren't you? Special sex. Hello, stranger. So, uh, how comes they found you then? Well, she had me down in case of emergency. Oh, right. Because she had a bit of an emergency when you did your disappearing act and she got kicked out of the flat with the baby. Oh, no, it's tired, Dad. Wait, Mum can hear you. It's all right. We'll play nicely. Right up your alley, they say, Nick. The mercy dice, the bedside vigil. Dad, you just can't help yourself, can you? Anyway, thanks for looking after her, but we're here now, so you may as well get off. That's no, all right. I'm right where I want to be. It's going to be a bit crowded when Toya gets here, so you may as well get off. I'll step out. It's not a competition. Look, I want Nick to stay. I think Mum would want him here and all. Oh, I wish I could, but health and safety and all that. Plus, Roy would have kittens. Yeah, look, thanks anyway. No, I'll look after him for a few hours. Um, that's really kind, but I don't know if... Uh, no, it's all right. I know Leanne and me are a bit love-hate, but uh, when the chips are down... Gail, thank you. You're a lifesaver. You can play with Harry. Don't give it another thought. <laughs> Hello, little man. <laughs> Nick must be exhausted. He insisted on sitting with her all night. Why, Nick? Yeah, um... The police called him. Well, that's news to me. Yeah, to all of us. Sorry, I just assumed that you knew. Um, I'll see if Sarah can mind Oliver. Come on, David. What? Your brother's back. Let's go. All right, well, I'll nip to fresh go, shall I? See if they've got a fatty calf. Never mind your coffee. Mum, I know you're going to do your little pouty face, but there's no way I'm schlepping to go see Golden Boy. I mean, where's he been for the past year while we've been going through seven kinds of hell? I couldn't give a flying one. I wanted to tell you yesterday, but I think I was still in denial. Understandably. The irony. When he got his MS diagnosis, I was convinced him and Liz were at it like knives, remember? Do you know, there's a saying, what you think about comes about. Gee, thanks. What do you want me to say? Forgive and forget. Maybe. Like I did with Alan. My dad was a one-off. Mm. Well, I took him back and forgive him everything. And look where that landed me. I don't know. I mean, he says he was all over the shop with Aidan dying, and that's true. I saw that first hand. Tragic as it was, it doesn't justify going with another woman. No, I know. I know, but he shut me out. Blamed me for not being Aidan's number one fan. I could feel it. I mean, at least now he's admitted it. I get the feeling you want to forgive him and move on. We still love each other. I don't doubt it. But what's love without trust? Yeah. Any change? No. Still stable. Good lad. Listen, um, why don't you go and stretch your legs? Try and get some of that down, yeah? Ronan told one of his cronies what he was planning. Oh, look. Uh, all we can do for now is concentrate on Ryan and hope Leanne pulls through. Yeah, but two treatments are dead. And my sons were there both times. How must that look? I, uh. 
think Ali might be much more affected than he's letting on. I can't lose another child, Mum. Hey, you're not going to. Alexander Neeson. I'm sorry I didn't ring. Yeah, right? and so you should be. A text, anything. Can you keep it down? I'm sorry. How is she? Um, they're going to take her off the ventilator this afternoon. OK, I'm going to go and find a doctor. If you two must kill each other, can you do it quietly? I'm sorry about that. Is this what it takes to bring you back to Weatherfield? But I lost my plane. I've lost count of the voicemails I've left. Oh, God. No, you haven't. You log everything. You always have. Three a week. What can I say? Why don't you let Toya take over now? Come on, with me. To your family. No, I, I, I want to be here when she comes to. I wish you felt the same loyalty towards your brother and sister. Right. Look, number eight will be my first port of call, OK? Dr Neeson, DS McKinnon, we meet again. Uh, can we have a word? Yeah, um... Yeah, now, that's okay. Yeah, uh, Of course. Aww. You and your wee monkey having a bit of quiet time? It was such a lovely thought. The baby's gonna love him. Don't you think of me? I will swear at the collection. Oh, and I won't be tipping up for any baby shower either. FYI. Noted. So, how's the honeymoon? Well, apart from the morning sickness and the eight hour shift at the fun factory. What's your problem? Oh, I got married in a community garden, man. Where the dogs do their business and the tramps are swigging their sherry. <laughs> well, it was our day, right? And we thought it was magical. Now, fair play to you. I mean, there's nothing like the smell of dog start when you're giving it the whole till death do us part. Meghan Markle, eat your heart out. Okay, <laughs> Sinead, bye, monkey. So, you were being chased by a gangster? Yeah, Cormac's done. So, the guy that died in your flat? Fine, I'm holding up. How's Ali holding up? Honestly, no idea. Why not? Something I should know. Ryan was bleeding to death and he was off seeing Tillian. Come on, shut up, I think that's a bit. Okay then, fair enough, Leanne, but Ronan. 
So I was trying to stop the blood from pouring out of Ryan's head. And Dr. Ali goes over to see what he can do for him. The lunatic who tried to kill us. I'm kidding. We stopped to check with Ryan first. I begged him umpteen times, Carla. But he was more interested in that waste of skin. He died anyway. I guess he's just going to make a judgment, you know, on who needs him most. Yeah, and he picked the scumbag who wanted us dead. It must be hardwired, wasn't it? All them years of training in medical school. Will you stop making excuses for him? He left his brother to die. It's quite a coincidence that you were present at the deaths of both father and son. Yeah, well, it's been pretty harrowing. Or would you say it was far from a coincidence? And yesterday's events were directly linked to Cormac's death. I don't know, Remy. Yeah, it's crossed my mind. Is that why Ronan Truman was trying to run you off the road? Maybe. Maybe, uh, he thinks we're somehow responsible for Cormac's death. Is that an educated guess? A wild guess? Well, you've seen from our statements that I performed CPR on Cormac, OK? He was too far gone. I did everything that I could. Why might Mr. Truman not accept that that was the case? You'd have to ask him that. Look, seriously, OK, drugs killed his son, OK? He's a drug dealer. Maybe maybe he needed someone else to blame rather than taking a whole look in the mirror. I, I don't know. Well, that wouldn't explain why he would target your whole family. I just... I don't think he's a cool, calm and collected type. Kill three birds with one stone, maybe. But you're a respected doctor. You did what you could. Yeah, too right, I did. Perhaps he was aware of the fact that Ryan initially lied about the timeline of events. The delay in dialing 999. Yeah, well, that would explain a lot. Tell us exactly what happened as you approached Truman's crashed car. Mmm, Audrey won't be best pleased. Why? Bad carbs? Mm, close it for lunch. Well, what my eyes do not see... Oh, well. At least Nick hasn't ruined your appetite. Max will be pleased to see him, won't he? Not with all the WhatsApp chats and phone calls and birthday cards I've been having. Well, I knew it hurt you, but I didn't realise you were that angry at him. Well, I texted him after the, you know, rape. And I said, hi, how are you doing? You know, good to catch up. Nothing. Didn't hear anything. What, so he doesn't know? No. That is so sad. He's your brother. That's just a job title, isn't it? He's practically a tourist in this family. Mm. Leanne, I'm Dr. Reese. You're in Weatherfield. There's nothing to worry about. Mm. She's coming around. Leanne, squeeze my hand if you can hear me. She's breathing well on her own. Good girl. Go on, Lee. Try to open your eyes. See? What did I tell you? Don't expect too much. She'll be very disoriented. Thanks for everything you do. You're going to be OK, and that is an order. Do you hear me, Battersby? Thanks, Lee. Back. Yeah. I tried to get cover so we could talk. I'm all talked out. Don't say that. We can't let our marriage go down the pan just because I've been a selfish, self serving idiot. Don't want to hear it. I forgive you for sleeping with the Weatherfield bike. I forgive you. You can say something now. Just like that. Well, it'll be hard. But it's a mindset, isn't it, forgiveness? You make a decision to forgive. That's incredible. Rita will think I'm nuts. But Rita goes to bed alone and she wakes up alone. So I'm better than nothing. I'll take that. I mean, I love her to bits, but you can't warm your feet on principles. Cuddle up to principles. I'm going to make it up to you. No promises. No lavish gestures. 
just don't ever cheat on me again. I won't. Not even in your head. Not even in my head. I love you. I'm saddled with that. But you're a good man with a good heart. Don't feel it. Liz, on the other hand, is a whole different slapper. Oops. Matter. Jenny. Just be grateful you're forgiven. Leave the barmaid to me. Street in half an hour. <laughs> 